Hello everyone, welcome again. And uh, today I'm going to show you another project in Havanite, and which is hospital management system. This is already available in JSP and Servlet and in Spring MBC also. So we upgrade the version of the backend and convert the complete requirement in the Havanite and now it's available in Havanite also. So if you are looking project in JSP servlet in Havanite, it's a Spring uh, hospital management system so you can check this and this link will provide in the description box so you can uh, read the complete requirement and all the technologies that we are using here so let's move to the ide sts and run the project and check the feature and functionality how it's working <coughs> let me close all the tapes here okay so uh, for the back for the front end we are using html and css to manage the server side request and response we are using servlet to deploy the application we are using tomcat server and as a back end to manage the back end we are using havanet and mysql so now the project is run let's move to the database as to manage the database or perform the operation i'm using the mysql workbench and the mysql you can use my mysql workbench it will work with php mysql admin also so here is the tables uh, there are four tables are there so if i move to the user table and i want to see the table data of the user table so you can see in the table there are the three different types of roles so first one is the admin doctor and receptionist so how can you differentiate the role the role id one will be for admin two always will be for doctor and three always will be for receptionist so if you're going to add some more user it will come with this id so this id is the unique identifier to get uh, the roles so let's log in, in the application by admin and check what operation admin can perform and then we'll move to doctor and then receptionist one by one so uh, as i run the application uh, the project this is my home page you can say the welcome page and when i click on this it will show this background image and the heading now if i click on the home page so it will show you this home page and when i click on the sign in so the login page is there let's enter the login id and password for admin so admins at the rate gmail.com and admin at the rate 123 I enter the ID password and click on the sign in button now it's going to log in, in the application so now the admin is logged in you can see and when I click on the doctor you can see in the menu uh, so the admin basically can manage the doctors receptionists patients and appointments and appointments of any doctor and other things so when I click on the add doctor you can see two options are there in the drop down the add doctor or doctor list so admin can check the list of existing doctor in the database so right now that one doctor is available and other thing you can add a doctor so if i even click on the add doctor it will shape yeah it will show you this form let's fill the form and check the doctor is enter or not so doctors two so i'm a doctor user i'm going to enter the username as a doctor user and some surname some last name and as a login id i'm going to enter doctor user at the gmail.com and the password will be demo at the rate one two three and again for the log email id i'm going to copy the same and I'll enter the play group so it's p plus and enter a mobile number any 10 digit phone number and zender select zender date of birth so date of birth will we should be in the format like dd mm and yy so i enter in this format and add Edge if I enter so 25 and this is clinic number clinic number so I'm gonna enter 456 and the joining date so joining date for the um, doctor so this will be your first date like I'm gonna 3 7 2020 and the qualification is gonna MBBS and CD I'm gonna enter a CD and the specialization I'm gonna enter heart address you can enter any address click on the save now the data is saved successfully it means a new doctor is registered in the application let's refresh the database and check the new entry there so you can see the new entry as a doc user is there and the role id must be two as a doctor so you can see it's repeated here now 
and the same way you can check the doctor list so admin can check the doctor list if you want to edit some record you can edit the record like this and I'm gonna edit that edit that to this address and it's done oh. so you can see that record is edited also if you want to search some doctor as a name as a first name and I'm gonna enter the doctor as the first name here click on the search can we work okay from here also he can delete the record like I'm gonna refresh the page and you can see I'm gonna remove this and click on search again okay so if you want to delete a record you can select the record and just hit this delete button the record is gone and if you want to add a new doctor again you click on the new but new button so it will redirect to the same page <clears throat> so this all from the doctor module if I move to the receptionist so what admin can perform for the receptionist to admin click on this and again there is a two option add receptionist or receptionist list so currently there is a one receptionist so you can just check here or you can add a new admin can add new receptionist so you need to enter all the form and click on the save similarly if I move to the add patient so if I want to add a patient so for example For example, if I want to add a percent, I need to fill this a little, uh, little time. So uh, we can fill that complete form and click on the save button. The new percent will be listed there. And right now, the record is not available as a percent. So let's enter one percent here. So for example, user and this, and I'm gonna enter the email ID user at gmail.com. And doctor name so on which doctor you want to enter so the doctor name like for example doc user and the blood group for the user so B plus marital status unmarried and the mobile number gender fill all the details and as is a 25 you can enter the city node disease so whatever the disease he has uh, the, you can enter and the address so click on the save now the data is saved successfully now check the patient list so it's there so now patient can uh, be added for this doctor now if we're going to check the appointment so if we admin can add a new appointment here for to add a new appointment you need to enter the first name last name and the doctor name mobile number uh, appointment date time and this is address click on the save so the existing appointments are there so it's not available right now because the data is not available in the database if you want to add in a uh, record in this appointment that will show in the database for example if i'm going to add an appointment so i'm going to user enter some dummy user the doctor name should be doc user so the mobile number <coughs> so appointment dates so should be to code zero four zero seven twenty twenty and enter time so I'm gonna add twelve twelve m oh sorry it should be pm and the disease and the address when I click the save the appointment is saved here I'm gonna check the appointment list the record is available now here so this is all from the admin section and other things is also available admin can manage this profile admin can change the password and the logout option so when i hit the logout button it will automatically redirect the uh, login page now let's log in as other user as a doctor and what doctor can perform so let's log in as a doctor here and I sign in here and so doctor can check the patient list and appointment list so for example no doctor is available for this user so for example let me log in with receptionist now so if I log in as a receptionist and Click here, sign. 
Hey, so uh, again the receptionist can add a patient. He can check the patient list. So right now one patient is available and for the doctor you need to assign that particular patient to a doctor specially so then only he can uh, get the record there so this is complete from Hiver, uh, hospital management from in hibernate and you can check it and if you need the source code you can check the description link in the description box you will get the complete detail about this and the technologies and how can you get the source code so you you just need to uh, mail us over the jcode one at the gmail.com or you can whatsapp us as our number double eight seven eight nine eight two double eight nine you can check the detail and my team will contact you and we'll be also providing the remote support so if you are worried about how can you run that project at your machine or how can you show um, the project so my team will connect to you by zoom or any desk or any remotely software will connect with you will run the complete requirement at your machine and if you're looking for to understand the code flow and the features functionality and if you will learn if you want to learn this kind of project development in java <coughs> jsp servlet i have an spring mbc or boot so you can contact us and you can check the detail in the description box and you can contact us anytime we'll we'll, we'll, we'll revert back to you within an hour and we can continue the further communication